Hi there, you guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Monique. And as you can tell by the title, this is going to be a decor shop with me and haul. So you guys, I'm going to be honest. Well, you know, I try, well, if I would have tried, probably would have better content but I'm just gonna be honest I'm a little bit bougie you know so yeah I went out to the stores when they first opened back up in St. Louis but uh there was a line you know and I I drove out there and I looked at the line and you know Rona is still in full effect and it was sprinkling a little bit and I had you know I gotta leave out and I just wasn't about to do all that so yeah by the time I actually went shopping, the stores were cleaned out with a T. Yes, cleaned out, empty. The cupboards were bare, nothing, nada, zilch. There was nothing on the shelves. It was empty. I actually went to Ross and I went to Burlington um, to look at their decor and it was just nothing there. It was nothing there by the time I actually went shopping probably like a week after the stores open um so really this is this initially was going to be a shop with me with different um stores like you know ross burlington home goods but uh yeah it's it's just really a home goods um decor haul Real quick, I do want to say thank you to all of my new subscribers. And if you're new here, please binge watch the rest of my videos. And if you find that you like me, subscribe. So right now, I'm just walking into Home Goods, and it felt so good because it seems like Home Goods was closed longer than the rest of the stores. So I was so excited to get in here, even though um, I didn't really see a lot of things and I was looking for um, items for my bedroom my bathroom and I'm thinking about changing the color scheme in my TV room yeah I considered getting this white comforter for my room but the way me and my kids are set up I'm just a little bit too messy so I decided against that but I love the white comforter look um yeah you know I didn't see too much at home goods either oh i just love that turquoise color i wouldn't mind and adding that color into my color scheme but i don't know i also love the neutrals so yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do uh yeah so i did pick up a candle i probably should have got a couple more yeah Yeah, I, uh, yeah, definitely needed to get a couple of baskets. I think I only got one, but yeah, I don't know. Ooh, that's a cute basket. Why didn't I get that basket? That basket is too cute. Was it too expensive? Why didn't I get Or maybe it was too small. I don't know. How much did it say that it cost? I, I can't even see that, but maybe it was too small, but that's so cute. Even the basket next to it is cute. I don't know. I might have to go back and get those. Uh, yeah, but I did actually. That's the that's the basket that I ended up getting um, because it was kind of long. And the pillows. I do love the boho theme that seems to be popular right now. But I'm really looking for pillows that are like beige, black. You know, I don't, you know, like those neutral, that neutral color palette. And I didn't see that at home goods. This was a cute pillow. Yeah, there was a lot of things that I didn't see. I also was kind of looking for um, some outdoor um, patio furniture to be on sale. But I didn't see any at, um, at this home goods. I might try another one in the area. But yeah, I didn't see too much um, here. Yeah, I did want to show you guys how empty the shelves were at Ross. This is Ross 
and this is Burlington. Wow. So yeah, as you saw, um, Home Goods was the only store that had something in it and it didn't really have much that I wanted. But I did find a few things to haul from Home Goods. Um, let's see, just starting off, I got this here basket. This basket is going, it was actually $19.99. Um, I like the colors in it. I'm really feeling the natural, um, this natural wood color with the gray. I really like that. I'm really into that these, these days. Um, so I got this and I hope that you can see it. I got this to go in my front entryway so that my kids can put their shoes in the basket when they come in the house. I actually need a couple more um, of those baskets because yeah, my kids have shoes all over the house. Um, so I need a basket um, going out into the backyard and I also need a basket coming in from the, um, from the garage because that's where they always leave their shoes um, along with at the front door. So that's what this basket is. Um, per was purchased for and I really like this. So the next thing that I purchased and uh, Brownie wants to be in this video so badly. She wants to be in the video so badly. But the next thing that I purchased um, and Brownie is my dog so <laughs> um, was this um, candle. I got this from Home Goods as well. This was $12.99 and I thought this was a nice size for candles. And I don't know how you pick out your candles, but I always look for candles that match the space that I'm putting it in. And then I see if I actually like the smell. And I love this smell. It's, it smells like, it really smells like powdery, like sheer powder. Um, but it's called Sensational. Um, Sensational. This is going in my bedroom and actually next week will be my bedroom makeover. My bedroom um, actually was my first quarantine project. It's not going to be finished, but you're going to get what you get and you won't throw a fit. So I'm going to show you what I have thus far. Um, but yeah, but I mean, it's almost finished. I just need like different decor items, my pillows, which I told you I want to make for my bed. Um, but yeah, that's really the only thing that's missing. But yeah, I got this candle to go on my end table. And uh, yeah, it smells really good. I love, I love how this smells. I actually got this off of Amazon. And um, I heard, I heard about um, basically the matches in the jar from one of my favorite YouTubers, um, Styles by Casanova. She mentioned it in one of her videos and I actually found this on Amazon. So I got these off Amazon. I think they were $15, I think. I got the, <laughs> I got these towels to go um, on the shelf. I, I plan on getting like a black shelf to go over the, um, the toilet. And I thought that since these towels were light, that would be like a nice contrast. Um, and I also got to go on the shelf. Um, I got this. And these, these towels were $7.99. Um, and I got um, this little faux plant. And this is really cute to me. I really like the colors and the um, the vase area just because these are the colors of my bedroom. Um, the grays, the beige, and the, the gold. Nice. So I'm going to put this on the black shelf. And um, yeah, I think that's going to look good together. We'll see. So I got these towels to go in my bathroom. You're going to learn that I love animal print, anything animal print. It could be giraffe print, cheetah print, alligator print, tiger print. I don't care. I like animal print. Uh, <laughs> so when I saw this, I was like, oh, that's cute. So I got this, uh, <laughs> so I got this towel to go on the back of my door. I'm, I may go back and get some more, but I only have like one hook on the back of my, um, on the back of my door. So that's the reason why I only got one towel. Um, 
Um, but yeah, I think it's so cute. And I like the gray tone in this because it looks like a grayish. It looks like um, a gray, but it has undertones of brown. So I like that because that kind of goes with um, goes with my bedroom. And I got, I don't know if I got two. Yeah, I got these two towels and these were, how much, how much was this? This was $7.99 and these two towels were $4.99. And I got these two towels to go on the um, on the on the railing on my shower. So that's just two decorative towels to go on the railing on my shower. And I got I just got this um, little mat bath rug to go outside the shower. So yeah, that's all I got. I still need to get like pictures and like I said, the shelf. Um, I'm, I think I wanna go with some black and white art um, to tie in with my bedroom. And um, yeah, I don't know. I'll see what else I get. I, I got this blanket or quilt to go on my bed. I just wanted something plain. Um, I really wanted my bedroom to have like that luxury hotel room um, look. So I didn't want um, to do a lot with the bedding. I have this fur or faux fur um, or faux mink um, throw that's on my bed. And so I think that this would look good uh, mixed with that and the white sheets. And you, like I said, eventually I will have those pillows on my bed. And I'll show you the fabric that I'm thinking about using for those pillows. Just so you can get an idea of how, of how everything will look together. What else did I get? Um, what's this? Oh, this is this is actually when I went to Ross. So I just thought this was cute. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this, but it says gold digger. And I thought this was cute. I don't know if you know the rapper Tiffany Fox. She's actually from St. Louis and she always says gold digger. So um, I just saw this and I was like, that's too cute. It will look cute like on a, um, on a desk. And I do have a little office area in my bedroom, but the desk is so small. It's like a writing desk that I don't think like with my monitor and my computer, I don't think this would fit. Um, but maybe it may fit on a shelf above my desk. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what we're gonna do with that. That's like one of those items that I just picked up that I thought was cute. Um, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it. It was only $4.99, so. And I got this from Ross. This was one of the things left on the empty shelves. <laughs> And last but not least, I thought these were so cute. And these are um, going to go in my room also. They're gonna go beside my um, TV. I just wanted to change out the lamps that I already have beside my TV because when I, when I purchased this house, I noticed like, okay, I have no overhead lighting. <laughs> I have no, and the room was so dark because of the color and the shade, hence, my first video being five ways to light in the dark room. Um, go look at that video now if you haven't looked at it. It actually um, shows you a little bit of my bedroom, but next week I'll actually go into detail of where I purchased everything and I guess give you a tour, even though the room is small, so it's nothing really to tour, but you know what I mean. I'm just gonna show you um, where I purchased everything, how I laid out the room, uh, but yeah, my point is the room was really dark, so I just really just was trying to get light into the room. So I had Mitch match um, light fixtures, all type of stuff. So I did want to replace the lamps that are beside my television. And I, and I actually don't know if this will work well in the space because it has like, I think, these, are these the Edison bulbs? I don't know. But I saw this lamp and I thought it was so different and cute. It just looked interesting. Um, so yeah, it just looks interesting. So I got it. So I don't know if it's gonna work, especially with these bulbs. I may have to change out, but then it wouldn't look right with it. If I change out the bulbs and put in um, just a regular bulb, I don't know. 
but it's so cute and different. Don't you think that's interesting looking? Like that's cute to me. And it has like the faux marble um, base. And this is like a brass color, which I have a lot of brass um, in my room. And this was $29.99. So I thought that was a decent price. Really, I just, I just love the shape of this. It just looks interesting. So I got two of those and yeah, that's it. That's all for this video, all from that haul. And next week I will show you my room makeover. Um, I hope you like it. I hope you come back to see that. As you know, um, I post a video every Sunday. If you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and press that subscribe button and, um, so that you can make sure that you don't miss any of my videos. Press that like button if you like this video and if you didn't like this video, tell me about myself in the comments because I can use the engagement. Until next time, peace out.